My name is Ovis and I'm from Latvia. I've become a Christian very recently. I've been a Christian for about a year. Before I was Christian, it's hard to say what sort of things I was living for. I was driven into all sorts of atheism ideas and videos. Christopher Hitchens was my, one of my heroes. And I was, I was once watching a history Christopher Hitchens video and uh, I was commenting on it and there was a Christian that commented, I still remember it was many years ago. He said, this is wrong, like this, this leads to nowhere and it still has stuck with me to this day. And I saw that, you know, if I extend this kind of life, this kind of living, um, like there's no hope and there's gonna be, like I, there was pain, but I knew that there was gonna be yet more pain. Uh, and I was really, I was not seeking God so much as I was seeking hope. I got to invite, I, I, there's a friend from work. Um, she's a Christian. She invited me to a trip. And I knew, and it was this. This was at the time when I was, you know, desperate. I was hopeless. I knew, you know, like, why not? Let's just go. And her friends didn't know that I was a, not a Christian. And I saw in them something I did not see in myself or those who are around me. Uh, I saw their love for each other. I saw the patterns in their life. Obviously, you know, there, there, there was. It was not all perfect, but like there was a light there. There was something that attracted me. But you know, that was not enough for me. Uh, but that was my first real encounter, and it was very surprising to see actual Christians, how they are. It was not what I expected. I went back home and I started studying. Every single time I opened the Bible in the beginning, it was always to the most intense bits, like, you know, the murder made him and God, God uh, keeping his name holy in the Old Testament. But I think in the back of my mind, there was a contrasting reality of, there is this that normally scares people away. But I had also seen how it, how it looks in reality, how this plays out in reality in, in those Christian friends that I had met. So their witness uh, like, was, a, like, I don't understand this, yet I have hope because of what I've seen those people on the train going horse riding. Um, I met, uh, there was this Chinese lady from across from me and she was speaking in Chinese and she mentioned the name of Jesus Christ. And I overheard and I said, oh, are, are you a believer? And she said, no, but I went to this amazing church <laughs> that studies, study, and I studied the Word of God in, on Thursday uh, you know, in the evening. And I, I, I looked into it and I went to the next at the next possible date. We were studying Psalms uh, and it was Psalm 32. And, you know, it was David saying that the Lord Lord's hand rested heavy upon him, and he, as when he kept quiet, so I realized that I had to repent. So after that study, when I came back home, I, I, I fell on my knees and I repented, which I thought again, fearing, fearing on my, falling, falling on my knees, like I had, I had so much, you know, I had so much pride. I thought, I like, come on, like who does that? Like that's crazy, falling on my knees, like, um, but no, I did it, and. Uh, yeah, and I, I think that's when, that's when a brewery, all of this took off, and you know the, it's been absolutely amazing, and yeah, it's. Uh, I, I've recently been realizing that uh, it's like the Lord melting my heart step by step. You know, with just, with just amazing community and uh, like the, my brothers and sisters around me, and it's, it's good.